Most Splunk users have come up against growth in data volume that tends to overwhelm SIMs, especially in cloud-first organizations. Without the ability to ingest all security telemetry into Splunk, you end up with critical data siloed with the data silos of numerous security solutions. This leads to swivel chair frustrations and the lack of visibility across the entire tax service, which in turn leads to missed threat signals and security investigations that can lead for days, if not weeks, chasing down data across multiple data silos. Additionally, since the solution rarely stores data for hot for more than say three months, analysts have to rehydrate cold storage to hot for investigation back in time. Analysts are just spending way too much time on data engineering rather than data analysis. Fortunately, the emergence of new data platforms such as Snowflake can solve these problems by allowing you to adjust all the data you want, store it for as long as you want at a far lower cost and a far lower operational overhead. So, wouldn't it be great if you could somehow connect your Splunk implementation to a cloud scale, always hot, low cost, zero engineering data lake? We thought so too at Elysium and have developed a Splunk add-on component connecting Splunk to a security data lake with an open data model for faster investigations across all telemetry with low cost hot data retention and elastic compute. Snowflake charges $23 per terabyte per month for hot storage. With compression of excess of like 7x, this leads to effective cost storage at a very low cost. Remember, this is hot always on data. This is an illustration of a simple imitation where we direct all telemetry collected by Splunk to our security data lake on Snowflake. Our Splunk add-on component allows you to query on the data in the data lake directly from the Splunk search bar with the query results showing up in the Splunk UI. You can query across data in Splunk as well as in the data lake at the same time or limit your query to a particular time period. You can also build Splunk visualization on the data lake. Since queries are performed on Snowflake, you utilize Snowflake compute for the queries and not impact the performance of Splunk, even the complex resource intensive queries. Now you have a security data lake with all the Splunk data in Snowflake, you can start to ingest additional telemetry from sources you do not ingest into Splunk. This could be data from high volume sources such as EDR, NTR, DNS. You can easily enrich all your data with sources from the Snowflake marketplace or from other third party applications. Now you have all your telemetry data in one single source of truth. There is no real limit on what you can do with your data. Elysium Analytics provides a comprehensive security analytics solution for threat investigation, threat hunting, and monitoring. You can perform data exploration with full text search across all your data, identify threats with machine learning based anomaly detection of entities and users, and consolidate dashboards for a single source of truth for better detection and investigation. Another great aspect of having all your security telemetry in a Snowflake security data lake is that you have full control of your data. It is your security account, your Snowflake account, and you control how long to retain your data and who has access to your data. You can connect other Snowflake partner applications to your data and leverage BI tools and in-house develop applications for use cases specific to your organization for sharing data to other groups within your company, such IT or HR, with zero impact on your security operations. Now let me show you a quick demo. Now let's start out by sharing the Splunk configuration files for the Splunk folder. These three files are the config files here. This is what an end user would need to set up. Along with installing the Splunk add-on component, you'll need to deploy that in your cloud instance or your on-prem instance. And once you do that, then you have this ability to basically start querying your Snowflake data lake using the Splunk UI. So in here in the search bar, I've got this query here that I'm gonna query data that's sitting in um, the Snowflake data lake. And we're just looking for some desync IP addresses back from this VPC flow data. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of desync IPs back. So here I just demonstrate how we can easily query data sitting in the data lake and bring it back into the Splunk realm. Now let me show you a little more power here. What about correlating data between Splunk and the Snowflake data lake? Well, in that case, what we just do is that we would just uh, form a query to basically pull some domains out of the Splunk index. And then we would forward that over to the Elysium to correlate, say, with our DJ analysis. 
because Elysium has the power of doing, you know, deep neural network and machine learning analysis on the data, we can actually identify patterns and then make those visible inside the Splunk UI. And so with that, we can then, once we send the data over, we can then get the results set back in this Splunk UI. So let's go ahead and run this query and see what domains are legit and which ones are DGA generated. Except for all time. So now what we'll see is basically these um, domains that come back and some are labeled as legit and other ones are DGA based on uh, the analysis within the Snowflake data lake. So there are much more things we can show too. Um, one of the things we also provide is like pre-built dashboards. So in this example here, this is a dashboard that allows you to meld data from Elysium and from Splunk in the Splunk UI. And in fact, this is just some uh, AWS VPC data because generally, you know, most customers load their alert data into Splunk and not their voluminous sources. This is where I can correlate the two and then have visibility into user activity I normally wouldn't be able to do and see things like potentially unauthorized access and other interesting things like just, you know, anomalies like John White, um, for example, here and up in the user activity. You might see that this user has been doing a lot of activity and it's something more just maybe for the investigation. We also see that John White's endpoint was the one that was uh, all the unauthorized activity. So let's go ahead and investigate that. So now with all these kind of key indicators above, you know, I have the same kind of um, Splunk interface I had before, but just now I have access to a lot more data that I can start doing investigations. And maybe these are potential data exfiltration that I need to investigate. Again, this is because I was able to pull in the uh, AWS VPC data flow and meld it with my Splunk data. And I have potential domains here that I might want to investigate. And I can look across all my users to see who've been to this these IP addresses and see if potentially other threats are in my environment that I need to investigate. And so with the power of Elysium, you know, we now have the ability to take um, all visibility across your enterprise and provide that in a single UI experience. Furthermore, we do provide something called an open data model that allows you to connect, connect the dots. Essentially what we do is we, we um, go through each data source and we map it into our unified schema. And so with that, you avoid going into individual silos and having a much, um, a deeper understanding of what's happening in your data. So with that, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to share this uh, amazing innovation from Elysium, and I wish you the best 